Good afternoon. Thought we'd do a quick video about uh, stuck keys on these sort of open keyboards. This one's got an intermittently sticky key on the which of course won't stick. Nah. Uh, the customers tried some pencil lead etc down in the mechanism which has not made any difference. So what I'm going to do is pull first seven or eight keys out and just clean up inside the groove there and down the side of them. So this quick video on how to and how to be careful. First step is of course take the end off, take the re-blocks out, take the faceplate off. Inside is the slide for the stop. I'd like to take that down just to make sure it doesn't get bent using some painter's tape. Just a strip along the bottom there. That's better. Now I need to take the front off. What I'm going to do now is label the buttons because it oh, really important. That everything goes back where it came from because as you can see the bend on these longer ones is different as it wakes its way down. So again more painters tape. What we're gonna need one two three four five six seven eight And there we have all the buttons neatly labelled. Then what we need to do now, all the mechanism is hinged on a single rod which runs down there, the end of which is covered by this little cover. Can we see the little cover? Yeah. Now the difficult bit, the rod is under tension from all the springs. If we're lucky it will come out easily. If we're unlucky it'll be a fight. I use my standard end cutters as a first go. I've now got eighth of an inch, whatever that is in metric money protruding and I try my other method which now we've got a bit more space maybe more successful my trusty black and decker right slowly but surely it's starting to come out now And there goes the first key. Which I should have been covering with my hand.
So we have successfully removed the keys and can see down into the wells where the keys fit. First thing I'll do is clean it out in my shop vac which is loud. It doesn't appear to be any beer etc down in the slots. Using the back edge of a scalpel just to scrape down. <laughs> now have a look at the keys themselves. Number seven was the one that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, number seven was the one that was causing the problem. Doesn't appear to be anything other than the pencil lead that the customers put on there. But again, back of a scalpel blade. The non sharp edge. Just to ensure that there's no groin on there, and there doesn't appear to be. Don't forget to do the ends. There's the hole through which the axle goes. Again, it all looks clean enough. Check the other keys. We'll put my keys in order. Eight. Two, seven, one, six, five, and three. This can be the most difficult bit. Fortunately with this particular box, if I can find my screwdriver, both ends of the rod hole are available. So I can go in with a bit of TIG welding rod from the other end. and make sure I'm aligned. We can try the drill again. Seems to be more successful.
and it would appear that the sticky button is no longer sticking. Push the rod back in fully. And as they say in the Haynes manual, all we have to do now is the reverse of taking it apart. And hopefully we haven't broken anything. Seems to fix the problem. I now just got to go and chop the worst parts of my repair out of the video, and things will look fine.